God bless you friends. I just wanted to welcome you to the House Church Network Facebook group. All of those of you who have come on in the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, it's really phenomenal how the group is growing. Uh, if you could help by inviting like-minded people, people that you would you really think would be encouraged and helped by joining this group, then please do invite them. And I ask you particularly that, friends, because it seems that uh, my page has been uh, quite heavily restricted. Um, I can see some other restrictions have taken place on the group page as well. So I'm not able to currently invite people. Uh, maybe every two or three days I can invite one person before it restricts me and gives me a message. So if, if anybody out there could help by growing this group, because I really believe it's going to be an incredible network that's gonna grow into something much, much bigger than an online uh, social media group. Friends, it's nothing really to do with that. This is just the tool to gather the people together across the UK, across America, across the continents of the earth, that we could gather together and begin to focus and realize that today's the day that we need to really start thinking about meeting together just like the early disciples, just like the early believers. I mean, this is how they met together and we know that in the book of Acts when the Holy Spirit was poured upon those wonderful disciples in the early church, they were in the upper room in a house. They were in a house. And we can read countless scriptures throughout the New Testament that says that they met in houses. They went from house to house. They met in houses to do basically church. And we read about Peter. Peter, he had that miraculous escape from prison when the angel woke him up, struck him on his side. I love that, friends. I love that the angel was so assertive and said, get up, get up. And they went out into the city, friends. Absolutely amazing. And Peter, at this point, he's thinking that he's actually experiencing some kind of a dream vision. Then he comes to his senses, it says, and he realizes that he's out of the prison he's, and he's in the city. He, he then goes in the dead of night directly. The first place he goes to before he moves on is he goes to the house church. He goes to a house church, friends, which is actually having a meeting in the dead of night. He knocks on the door and they are having a meeting. Friends, house churches in the future may well have to meet in secret at night so that people don't know that it's going on. And uh, of course, when Peter eventually goes in and they're so excited, they start to raise their voices, but it says that he motioned for them to keep their voices down. Another indication, friends, that they were meeting in secret because they were experiencing persecution, not only, not only friends, at the hands of the government, but also at the hands of the religious people, friends, we have to realize that it's not only the government that is gonna bring a persecution upon the saints at this time, it's also from religious people, the people that wanna keep things the way they were. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not opposed, friends, to meeting in buildings at all. I'm not opposed to that. I absolutely love it, and I, I just think it's awesome. But I also realize, friends, that practically in the days in which we're living, it's not going to be so uh, possible. It's not going to be so practical uh, unless, unless we want to be restricted uh, by all of the regulations. And friends, really, it's much like, it's much like the church in China. They have a government state church. They have a state church in China, which is monitored and it is restricted by the government. And okay, some people may say, well, yeah, but this is, this is all about a virus. Well, friends, I believe it's much more. It's much more. And uh, I've done a lot of research over the years, but more than the research, friends, it was the Lord, Jesus that woke me up in the dead of night in 2009 and he warned me. He warned me about a coming persecution and a tyrannical government that will control the saints and the church in the end times. I believe we are in that time, we are walking in that time and it's gonna get a whole lot more restricted. But it's not time, friends. Importantly, it's not time for us to be afraid. It's not time for us to be discouraged. It's not. It's not time for us to pull the duvet over our heads and hide. This is the time, friends, that Jesus is coming to meet us. He's coming to 
be with us. He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you? Jesus has given us his peace. It belongs to us. It's a gift. He's given it to us. That means we can walk through any circumstance. We don't have to be sad. We don't have to be discouraged. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, Joshua 1.9. Joshua 1.9. God actually commands us, hallelujah, to not be afraid, to, but to be strong and courageous because he's with us wherever we go. Friends, if we obey his commands, if we obey his commands, then he's gonna be with us, hallelujah, hallelujah. And this is the time that we have to decide, are we going to obey the regulations? Are we gonna obey government when when it's going against God, I'm not talking about when government uh, is, is doing things that are not against God, hallelujah. In fact, it says in Romans, under those conditions, uh, we need to make sure that we abide and, and we wanna be uh, um, people who abide by the law, but not when it causes us to sin, not when it has become an anti-God government, when it is going, when it is opposed to the church, when it is opposed to the things of Christ, friends, and it is stopping us and restricting us, and it's restricting believers, friends, then it is time for us to sort of wake up and say, what am I going to do? So I believe, friends, that this is a wonderful time for the church. It's an incredible time for the church. Really, friends, this, this whole uh, event, this, this, this whole crisis has kind of stripped everything away and it's really revealed the state of the church hallelujah and it's revealed those whose hearts are saying yeah i'm gonna go and i'm gonna follow jesus no matter what i'm gonna i'm gonna follow jesus whether i get misunderstood whether i get judged oh hallelujah no matter what i'm gonna follow jesus the disciples this is what they did they followed jesus no matter what happened even when the religious people called called them out and and and, and uh, arrested them and they were arrested by the authorities by the government as well but friends this is the time and I believe friends that, that this group this group will be able to grow as a network and uh, I think at some point it looks like that the page will probably be censored um, but certainly at some point we will have to uh, transition to a much more secure form of communication uh, so that we can continue with what we want to do but friends this is a more than a Facebook group. This isn't just a Facebook group for us to share our ideas and our thoughts and just to talk and, you know, and, and it's more than that. This, this is about setting up a network that will actually see house churches rise up across the UK, across the nations of the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, he's preparing. He's preparing to return and he's preparing, hallelujah, he's preparing the church to be pure and spotless. And this is the time, friends, that we want to have our oil filled. 50%, friends, 50%, Jesus said, would not have oil in their lamps. So <laughs> we are of the 50%. Let's make sure we are of the 50% that have our oil, that we are the wise ones, we're not the foolish ones. And we, hallelujah, we are going to, we are gonna establish these, these house churches. Jesus is gonna do it. Jesus said he would build it, hallelujah. And I wanna say, friends, th this group is not opposed. Again, I wanna just reiterate, this group is not opposed to, to, to pastors and people that wanna, wanna continue in buildings. Friends, we, we must bless. We must bless and not curse, not judge unkindly. And uh, th this is just the time, friends, to focus on the vision focus on the vision and and um, it's time for us to rise up to wake up to rise and shine for our light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you and me so friends don't be discouraged don't be dismayed don't just just know that, that Jesus is with you promised to never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. I believe he's coming on the clouds of heaven, friends. He's coming for you and me. And he's going to change. He's going to change the whole earth. Hallelujah. There's going to be a new heaven. There's going to be a new earth. And we're going to have glorified bodies. Hallelujah. So, friends, please, if you can invite as many people as you think would be interested in the group, not people that you think might also be offended by the group, but just invite the people that you think could be really helped, really encouraged, 
and uh, could be really blessed and could help to grow this network that in turn will see house churches uh, established and, and connected in also with existing house churches and also friends connected in with any kind of church whether it's in a building or not that wants to connect in with the ministry and be an encouragement and receive encouragement etc so friends these these are these are the days to be alive on the earth and uh, it's just so wonderful it's so wonderful and I just want you to know friends that that I'm, I'm I'm just praying for you and I'm believing hallelujah I'm believing for you and uh, God is not going to let you fall <laughs> he's not going to let you fall in this hour and uh, he's going to give you everything you need he's going to give you more than you imagine hallelujah and he's going to pour out his spirit I believe friends he's going to pour out his spirit on the church in these last days it's going to be an awesome time that doesn't mean it's going to be without persecution no friends persecution is coming that's just part and part of the gospel Jesus told us Jesus warned us he said it would happen hallelujah we're not going to move into some kind of utopia hallelujah this the, yes persecution is going to rise on the earth but it's not time to be afraid it's time to be strong and to be courageous for the Lord our God is with us hallelujah God bless you friends and our uh, come back another time and share some more thoughts and I want to talk more about uh, starting house churches how we can simply do that in our homes and a whole lot of other things as well friends uh, but in the meantime God bless you God keep you and God make his face to shine upon you